Hey, what's up, guys? The Jordy here, back again with an Air Showers deck and gameplay video for you guys. Um, of course, this is still pretty fresh into World Uprooted, and we have the SVO coming up actually this weekend. Um, but instead of practicing for SVO, because we already submitted decks, uh, I wanted to feature Natural Runecraft. So, Natural Runecraft was a deck that um, when Ultimate Coliseum came out, it was a pretty good deck in the first week, and then it started to fall down the the meta as people start discovering new decks. Um, but Natural Runecraft still a pretty decent deck at the moment for World Uprooted. Um, we put it as like a high tier 2 deck, kind of in between tier 1 tier 2. It could punish like the slower decks out there because the deck got a little bit more consistent. As you can see, the only new card in this deck is Storm Elementalist, which is a new card from World Uprooted. And basically, it just gives you 3 additions because you can play 3 card copies. Uh, three additional ways to um, basically bounce back your great trees and replay them. So it just adds to the consistency of the deck, make it more consistent for your turn 7, turn 8 uh, OTK with your Riley and Carl combination. Um, so yeah, basically it's just a little more, more consistent. This card also gives you some heal, which is nice, and it could also give you some like e evolve and it could help clear the board, especially with all the Machina decks right now, it helps out a lot. So yeah, basically, uh, running two copies of Dawn Splendor as well, just because there's a lot of Storm in the meta, like from Quan Rune or uh, Roach or um, even like even Blood has Storm. So Dawn Splendor has two copies in there, and yeah, so pretty much this really similar build to what we saw last meta, but just a little bit more consistent now. So yeah. Um, if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also comment down below which decks you are expecting to see do well this weekend in SVO. Um, are you playing Natural Rune yourself if you are playing in the SVO? Um, otherwise, what other rune decks do you like right now? Do you prefer playing Quan Rune, very most powerful rune deck at the moment? Or maybe you like Natural Rune or experimenting with like Machina Rune or Dirt Rune? Let me know in the comments down below. Enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's like a rune mirror, but it's probably going to be Quan rune. Uh, Quan rune could be a difficult matchup for us because, especially if they pop off on turn 5, turn 6, like they usually do. But I won't keep the arrow mentalist. It's not bad, but I don't have a way to destroy my great tree at the moment. Um, so maybe I throw it back. Keep the traveler's respite though as a way to get... Um, a great tree into my hand and this actually worked really well with but in passion and potion here and we got back to arrow mentalist which is actually really good now um, because we could get active with the passionate potion here so turn two we travel through spike three we tree and then four we could like double arrow mentalist now so this is a pretty decent hand um also because we're going first that helps out a lot in this matchup going second for spell boost three is good for them because they could evolve and start spell boosting on four but yeah, this is going to be pretty good for us. Go ahead and psych a tree now. We could hold it, there's no point in using it. Oh, drawing two Rileys is really bad. Oh my god. Our hand was so good until we drew these double Rileys. So we could, could go Arrow and Mentalist. It's kind of bad into his into his uh, Kyoka turn but I kind of just want to do it just so I could um, start getting trees I'll probably save the second arrow mentalist to trade uh, I could travelers this but it's a bit more efficient on my play points so I'm gonna do that we don't get the heal but the heal on it is kind of nice but I just want to be efficient with my play points and get my trees out start getting Rileys out, but having two Rileys in my hand sucks. If we could draw that 2 cost spell, I forgot the name, but it could put the Riley back into my deck, so I'm really hoping I draw that. But I'm also just hoping that I pick up a, um, a Carl to set up the OTK. I don't, I guess I don't have to go for like the OTK with the Carl. I could possibly just kill him with Riley Riley. Ooh, it's a Machina room. Interesting. He's going to probably get the full clear here, but yeah, he could just trade here. That's fine. I guess Machina, Machina Rune is probably going to be a lot better for me just because the deck's not as great. 
Um, let's see. I guess we just arrow mental into that. I probably should have played the tree first just to be, um, see what my options were, but this was probably happening all the time. Anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Um... I probably want to involve the desert pathfinder just to get in our tree. So I could go play the geo elementalist. How many? We've played four trees. We need three more. So we could play two here. Yeah, the tr we're not setting up rally next turn anyway. So we could set up rally on our next turn for the turn after next turn. Um, if we want. We could go... Uh, Go for a Riley on turn eight, or set up for turn nine, and just go double Riley turn nine, and for the OTK that might actually work. He actually has he's really slow. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, so now the only reason why I'm playing trees now is just to buff up the attack when I hard cast it. But triple Riley draw. Okay, we got Carl, so we can evolve this, and it's nice. I guess we... Yeah, we'll just take our trees first to see if we pick up more Union Bursts. Hmm. Do I even want to use the Pathfinder this turn? Yeah, I think I do. Triple <laughs> Riley. Uh, that's like the big brick that this deck could have. Like, it's not... This won't happen to you often. Like, I would say you probably draw one Riley, sometimes two, but drawing three... Especially if it's only turn six. Luckily he's not really doing much. I'm still at 20, so I have so much time, but... I guess we can't, because Union Burst here would only go down to 8. Um, yeah, let's cycle some trees, I guess. Could consider playing the Carl right now. He knows I have all rallies in my hand now. Do I want to use the Evo? Not really. I could just play these, I guess. I get bounces back, so when my Pathfinder dies, I actually place no tree to cycle with, so that's cool. Uh, this might be a big swing. This game would have been so free if we didn't draw a Triple Riley. We might actually lose because. We can't rally him. He's going in ball here, interesting. Does this deck have any universes? I want to save Riley for maybe next turn. Actually, I just want. No, I want to play Riley next turn. So, Carl, I could play this turn to help clear it. Like, I could just Apex Legend. Seems about right. Oh, thank god. Okay, so I'm going to trade here and then put one Riley back in the deck. I'm going. To, I'm just going to play a tree here. I'm running out of time. I could have mis Mysterian Circle, but the tree um, busts my Riley again by one. But I'm going to be playing double Riley next turn, maybe. So I could possibly kill him. Also, this Carl is set up, so the one Riley that I'm going to invoke from my deck should kill him. I don't think I need to play two Rileys here. <laughs> they're getting plus 11, so they're both low. He's going to have to have like a board full of uh, wards. But even if he doesn't have a board full of wards, we, or if he does, we have two Clash of Heroes plus a Mysterian Missile. Um... I guess we can only Carl plus double clash, but with like with Carl's minion burst, it should be fine. He's not getting any wards here, anyways. I don't even think uh, Makina Rune has wards. 
Like, it's starting to pop off now, but it's, like, way too late. Way too late, as in. It's only turn 9, so it's, like, still... We're getting into the late game, but it's not even been, like, a super slow game. What is this? What is he? This card, too? Uh, well, it does have war. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's not enough. One turn later, I wouldn't ha I'd probably be dead, though. This almost kills my rally with Okay, never rune craft. Uh probably not going to be not gonna rune again though. Probably just spell boost rune. Um going first here. Storm Elementalist. It's not really something you can do on turn 3 actually because unless I play unless I get a tree out on turn 2 it doesn't work. So I'm actually going to throw these all back. I'm going to try and find a tree uh, which we end up picking up so this is a decent hand. Now the Pathfinder would have been slightly better but still not that great. Pathfinder is probably better on turn when I'm going second because I go ball per as well to get some tempo when on the evil and bounce back. Um, let's start off with the Desert Pathfinder here. If he plays like a 2-2, two -two, we could trade. Uh, but this is Spell Boost Rune, right? He played in sight, yeah. So Pathfinder, probably not dying next turn. Do I want to play the tree that comes with it? Um, but this deck really, you want to be efficient with your play points. Um, because you want to squeeze in your trees as much as possible, so floating one play point here might be might have been bad. So I'm just gonna play it now. He's actually not doing anything this turn. Next turn is probably a Kyoka. I want to psycho this. I'm not doing anything this turn, which is kind of bad. Yeah, if we had dr just drawn this, it would have been a lot better. Well, we're actually almost there. Easy to clear this with Apex. Rally's a brick. Oh my god, where did these draws we've been getting? Do we evolve here? Uh, 9 and then 8. We're only going to. The fastest we could get um, Carl Union Burst is turn 8. Also, we already put him at 14. I might actually want like to evil one of the Carls at some point just to help clear the board. Because the evolve effect is pretty good, but yeah, like if he trades here and then plays like a bunch of stuff, then the evil Carl might be okay. Ah. Okay, yeah. So now the evil Carl is actually pretty decent. Um, we could clear everything. Man, I can't believe we drew double rallies already. And last game we drew all of our rallies. I mean, the second Carl is going to be good though, because it will set him up, put him to 10 with her Union Burst. I'm probably going to get her Union Burst off, and then plus the damage, so he goes down to 5 with it. Let's have to set up the Riley next. Actually, next turn we just set up the Riley, and if we don't die, we probably win. It depends though, because he might set up a bunch of wards. Um, like, I know for sure turn 9 we could kill him, because we could evolve to... Carl to clear the ward, probably. 
but it's just like, can we get to turn 9? Right now it's kind of sketchy. Oh, but his turn 6 he didn't flood the board, so that's kind of nice. Um, Apex Legend. Apex Elemental here, not Apex Legend. Uh, I don't even play that game. Apex Elemental here, not that good. Let's start off with the Arcane Laser. Just like, go see what our options are. Okay, this lets me clear. We picked up a clash of heroes as well, which is important to deal with wards. Yeah, so now our Riley set up for next turn. Um, if we evolve the Riley, we could also set up the Carl. Um, and we still have enough play points to play Clash. So the game should be locked unless he, hmm, if he quans here, it's fine. It's just like if he plays um, the sorcerer and then gets a bunch of wards out of it. Like he needs to have two wards. He actually didn't play anything here, so he's just dead. Thank you.